Hey guys, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 23. So Doug is working from home today, and he's brought me breakfast in bed. So cute, his breakfasts are so funny. There's like um, turkey bacon, four pieces of steak, which I don't really know where he got that. Um, you guys are always laughing because we have like either like one mushroom or like one um, cherry tomato. I don't know why we do that. Eggs, toast, and coffee. So Doug makes his own eggs. Apparently it's like the Gordon Ramsay style. And it's with loads of butter and sour cream, but I swear they're like the best eggs in the whole world. He's gonna take a bite of his eggs. Look at how fluffy they are, look. I know, they're really perfect. If you're like not trying to watch your weight. <laughs> if you're trying to be healthy or something. Why do you have to do that? Like use everything like a little... Like a little shovel? Yeah. So my water just broke, I think. Unless that was mucus, but I'm pretty sure. Cause I felt like multiple gushes of liquid. And yeah, so I'm sitting on a towel and we're going to the doctor's. Doug's freaking out. But he's looking up directions. You need to go right. Hello. Yeah. Our herd contraction is still two minutes apart. I don't know, I'm, I'm driving now. Yeah, we're leaving, Mom. Okay, we'll keep um, um, counting them. Okay, Mom, uh, I don't have one right now. Yeah, I would go forward to that hospital. We but are. If they, but if they, you know, if they continue like at two minutes, and you feel like, you know, the birth is imminent, then you need to go to the closest emergency room. So Doug and I are almost to the hospital and my contractions are, what? Two and a half minutes apart. I don't know what happened. You were just cleaning things and then all of a sudden you were like, well, baby's coming. Well, my water broke. Holy moly. Yeah, it basically just feels like intense lower back pain and abdominal pain. But yeah, at least you have a break in between. Like right now I feel okay, but when they come it's so bad. It's like a really intense period cramp. Really intense. And like I said in all my pregnancy vlogs, our hospital's like 50 minutes away. So I called my doctor to see if like, <laughs> called my doctor to see if I should go to an emergency room and they said no. So we're like four minutes away from the hospital. So I think we should be fine. Four minutes away sitting at a red light. Next time I'll know better what to do. Yeah, the moment I thought they were Braxton Hicks. Everyone's like, you'll know when you know. No. Like I have a really high pain tolerance. Didn't know nothing. Seriously thought it was Braxton Hicks. Has she been kicking a ribbon? No, I, I just feel pain. to the labor and delivery unit. So I'm in between contractions, that's why I'm vlogging and Doug already can't handle it. Uh -huh. I told him that he needs to vlog and he's already freaking out. He's calling his mom to tell her to come because they're seven hours away. Yeah. Mom, yeah, we're at, we're at the hospital now. Um, I'll text you the address. Two and a half minutes apart. He's freaking out. But see, that's what we don't know. It's because water, they just all of a sudden just came out. Water seriously All of a sudden it was just two and a half minutes out of blue. So. so much water. It was crazy. Yeah. So, yeah. <sighs> so. But I feel fine now. Yeah, she probably is meant to have babies. <laughs> okay. So here's Haley. We've, uh, we Dying. went from the car to here and to ice chips. So now we're just sitting getting another contraction. Oh, it's going. It's going. All right, so uh, Haley's here. She's about four centimeters dilated and 90% effaced. Effaced? Uh -huh. Well, I don't know what that means. Apparently the baby's head's really low and she just needs to dilate more. Yeah, and then Haley got her epidural, so she, her pain went from a arm chopping 10 <laughs> to a three. I think something like that, yeah. right? Like a three. Tell them that I can't believe people do this naturally. <laughs> yeah, no idea how it's done naturally because yeah. she was sitting there just writhing, and her mom and I would have to sit there and like rub her lower back. I probably shouldn't be recording in here, but I am anyways. It's pretty crazy.
Well, here's Haley, and uh, it looks like Annabelle needs to come out sooner than we thought. <laughs> so, she's getting a C-section. Yeah, I've come to Yeah, it should be fine. But guess who else gets to go in there? Me. Oh, you just showed something like... Did something. I? Can you show my belly for the last time? Yeah. There she is. For a second. Yeah. She has long eyelashes. Hi, Annabelle. She has her nose, Doug. She does have. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, there she is. So I just got out of my surgery, and it was pretty crazy. I'll have to tell you guys about it later, but... Everything went well? Everything went well, and she's still perfect and cute. And now I'm in a recovery, and I don't... I cannot feel anything from, like, my ribs down. Like, nothing. I can't even wiggle my toes. It's sketchy. Like, it's insane. Baby acne. That's baby acne. That's not yeah, that yeah. kind. The anesthesiologist, he told me, said, she sure is cute. Oh. Oh, yeah. Look at her. Oh, oh. Hey there, Annabelle. Hey there. She's like, what, the, what is that thing? Get that thing out of my face. Oh. oh. Say hi. like my final hospital room I'm starting to get feeling back in my legs <laughs> does that mean you're getting feeling back in the back in the wound in the yeah okay. I cannot wait to tell you guys what happened with the c-section it's literally insane like it feels like I'm in like a dream like state yeah it's pretty crazy like I don't even know if I'm gonna remember I need to take notes don't take notes Let's just say I was praying the entire time. Anyways, so yeah, I'm just laying here. I'm so sad because I didn't get to wear my hospital gown, but I'm gonna wear it tomorrow for pictures. And here, Annabelle, she's, what is she doing? Uh, she should be done. She's now. like getting washed and stuff? No, she already got all that done. Oh. So she was washed. She got her shots. She, uh, Doug was literally crying in the, what is going on? In the operating room. He was crying in the operating room and I'm just like, get it together. I'm the one that's getting cut open. She's just so beautiful. She's so perfect. Yeah. She looks just like Doug. I know that sounds weird because she's a girl, but she has his nose and I think his nose is perfect. Uh, Turn to the side. Look at that nose. And she has big lips just like Doug. Mm -hmm. We'll see what she and she's so hairy. She has long lashes like Doug. Okay, calm down. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not allowed to eat for like a long time. And I'm on a liquid diet, although I haven't had any liquid yet. I think I have to wait like another hour. Mm -hmm. So all I can think about is Carl's Jr. Someone mentioned it like when I was going into labor and I was like, so I'm just chilling with baby Annabelle. She got like, um, what are those, like eye drops in her eye? No? Lotion in her eye? I don't know, they put something in her eyes. Apparently they do that to all babies. That's why her eye is red. She's just sleeping away and we already breastfed and she latched on like right away. She was really good. You're supposed to breastfeed every two hours, so we're waiting like, a little bit. I think we have like 30 more minutes left. Mm -hmm. Doug's keeping track. Mm -hmm. He's also eating top ramen. Mm -hmm. And I feel bad that he hasn't eaten. So I was like, you better go get like something from the vending machine. And the nurse was like, oh my God, how could he eat in front of you? You know, like, aren't you mad? And I was like, no. I'd rather him be well fed and happy <laughs> and helping me. So yeah, he's over there eating top ramen. But I have a giant cut in my stomach, so I'm not even hungry. And all my snacks have been eaten. I should have brought more. I'll go get you something. Gotta keep her little feet around. She's 
she's hairy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's got a lot of hair. We're gonna put her back in her crib. Well, Yeah. I can't. This is so annoying, you guys. All of these needles and stuff. Doug's already cracking me up. He's trying to swaddle her, but he's so afraid, like he thinks he's gonna break her or something. <laughs> Doug, what are you doing? Oh, she has? You'll have to change her. We'll get the new diaper first, and Doug is legit looking up a video on how to change a baby's diaper. And I can't help because obviously I'm impaired. <laughs> Do you wanna call the nurse, Douglas? panicking already. Look at that face. Yeah. He's scared. Why? It's cute for her.